good welcome back to the youtube channel we're doing a mukbang you know me you seafood and a special guest here with the seafood boil we are about to slam hey i'm diagene or d um i go to drake university and my major is sociology and anthropology and then i also have a concentration in social justice and urban education nice to see y'all okay hey I'm Tierra. I used to go to Drake. I dropped out my junior first semester, my junior year. Um, I majored in public relations. I double majored in public relations, rhetoric, and a minor in marketing. Currently um, now, work at the post office. That's some chain. I have a couple of side hustles, YouTube being one. On top of YouTube, I am. Outside of that, I do trade. I do Forex here and there as a side hustle to get an extra money if I need it each other month or I just want extra money sitting in my savings. Um, I do stocks, bonds, et cetera, et cetera. I dibble and I dabble. You know me, hustler, okay? I don't know if I want to do gloves, if I want to just dab in. <laughs> like, I don't. Yeah, I don't know how to eat that. I don't want it to pop in my face because this is really spicy. Oh, the fish was just crowing, curly, curly. Okay, let me stop. Hey, girl. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> mm. You like it? Yeah. And now you can officially call yourself bougie, real bougie. I got, don't I gotta eat some mussels to be bougie bougie? No. I don't gotta eat no caviar. <laughs> I don't gotta eat no caviar. Have you got caviar? No, I'm not eating that shit. It ain't even that. I'm swearing. Wow, you the real bougie. Have you tasted table. a pomegranate? A pomegranate? A pomegranate. I've tasted a pomegranate. It's pomegranate, is how you say it. <laughs> I'm tasting the pomegranate. Okay, well, you know the little seed. It literally tastes that's, like that. That's basically caviar without sweetness. Like it just tastes salty. Like it literally tastes like a bubble. You eating kids? You might as well just go well, ahead and swallow some nut. Yeah. <laughs> then there's somebody babies y'all eating. Just try. No, I didn't have it. I was when I tasted it, I just tasted it. I wasn't trying to be like, oh, oh, I'm, I'm eating somebody kids. Yeah, no. That's I just my taste because I'm like this weak, like. It kind of tastes like a bubble of soy sauce, like like a small. It ain't too salty. It's just a little salt. I'm like this shit weird. People just be eating this on crackers and stuff. This, that's weird. Like, let me add more sauce. This lobster tail is actually good. I'm happy I tried it for the first time. Bro, I can't get my crap in Can I use the scissors? I feel a lot of stuff before, but thank you. <clears throat> I'm actually not mad that they put all that seasoning on there now. It's good. I am mad that I can't. Gee, Louie. Tell whether or not you want me to clean it up air. I am. <coughs> I'm really mad I can't tell whether or not they cleaned it, though. <laughs> I did. Because that is a tail. We'll come out the tail. Maybe it's more different. <laughs> I'll Google it later. Google me, baby. Any advice you got to the chillings that hasn't made it to their senior year about to be done? Um, but my advice will be just stay true to yourself. There's a lot of people that you meet in college, but I mean, they're not always going to be at the end with you. Hey, <laughs> man! <laughs> she had preached. I felt the gospel. <laughs> Finish, girl. But they're not going to be at the end with you, and that's okay. As you continue to rise and become who you have to be, like, you you have to lose people in order to really be who you got to be. So, just stay true to yourself. Good vibes only. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Woo! I want to say, do whatever makes you happy, bro. Because yeah. you spent four years in school in a career. Because I've met, like, a, starting off at Drake, you meet, not even Drake, period. Starting off in college, I met a lot of kids going through majors mm -hmm. and hating it just because their mom and their dad was a doctor 
or their whole family is full of lawyers. Like, yeah. I know it's easier said than done, but bruh, please, please, if you're going to go through four years of hell, go through four years of hell of some stuff that you want to <clears throat> actually learn about. Like, are you enjoying your food? Girl, yeah, it's hot. That's why I'm coming class. <laughs> Woo! Ooh. What do you think about Drake though? Like the school itself. <laughs> the school itself, I feel like they have good intentions. Mm -hmm. Girl, I don't know if, if this blow up, I don't know if we can get sued. So I don't want to keep saying their name. You right, you right. So the school itself, they got good intentions. But it is not only is it a culture shock for most of the students yeah. that's there. Like, you just have a whole bunch of, I'm trying to choose my words wisely. You got a whole bunch of non-urban, suburban kids mm -hmm. coming with a whole bunch of urban, non-suburban kids. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you're trying to please them because they got the money. But you're always so trying to please us because we look good on your numbers. And it's like, it's a no-win situation. That's my best professional way of explaining Drake. We still eat. So living, like, I know we at, we grown. Where you want to live at? Um. Well, I want to live somewhere. Well, eventually, when I'm really settled, hopefully, we will be legal everywhere. <laughs> but I'm gonna leave, live somewhere where it's legal. So I was thinking about Colorado. California kind, I don't know about. Hey, expensive. Yeah, it is real expensive. Um, I don't know. I was thinking about Seattle a little bit. I really don't. I'm just really trying to figure it out, and that's why when I graduate, I'm going back home and working for a little bit. But I'm also using that time to figure out what I want to go to grad school for, and then figuring out like what school, what grad school I want to go. And I want it to be somewhere out of the fucking Midwest, cause I didn't been here, like. <laughs> I didn't, was raised in the Midwest. I went to school in the Midwest, so I just kind of need a change of scenery and environment. And I would like a little bit of a culture shock, so I could just be like, hey, you know, black people, hey, man, you know, girl. So, so Drake is not a culture shock to you? I mean, yeah, <laughs> but excuse me. To excuse me, me. Mm, I don't feel like no, because I went like I don't know. I'm in the white people at. <laughs> I don't know, like I don't know. Drake is a culture shock to me. <laughs> like, I mean, it was kind of a culture shock because they kind of like the. Um, I'm steady to name. I Go feel ahead. like it's kind of a culture shock because it's like, okay, although you guys were not in urban areas, what? I don't know. I just feel like some. They just act a fool. Like, I mean, if you see something new, that doesn't mean that you have to be so opposed. Still, I don't know. It's just. But I, I guess, get what you're saying. Yeah. Drake is definitely going to talk to me. I grew up with the Hispanics yeah. and the black people. I seen a couple of, but it's like, I ain't see them like every day all in my face and I know how to say excuse me. Like, That's true. Do, can I go to jail for fighting these kids? Like, <laughs> I did. Let me know what's up. Like, why is she bumping me? Why is she looking at me like she crazy? Yeah, I get that. Do she really think that she got the right of way? <laughs> <laughs> Girl, no. I'm walking too. Move. I feel you, you really? Oh, ha! Life for me. Okay, right now, I'm I'm stuck in Iowa. My lease isn't up till June. I love my apartment. It's really pretty. Um, but I'm moving to Vegas, baby. I'll be wheels up as soon as my lease is up. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't even got to, they don't even have to drop the renewal thing in front of my door. I'm just leaving. <laughs> like, the day I see that is the day I'm calling the movers. Can y'all start come picking up my stuff and send it to this address? Whatever it costs, I don't care. Get my stuff now. And then with that, do you want to do real estate out there or like? Yeah. Um. 
if I don't do nothing but get my license here and start testing it out, like how to do it and crack my first deal here, I feel like that's what I'm gonna do. Like Iowa is practice because it's not as big. Yeah. But now nah, I wanna open up a couple of restaurants. And once I do my restaurant, that's like, a, like that that's stable money, like keep a current money, like, excuse me, that's everyday money, reoccurring money, I forgot how the way they said it. Whew, <clears throat> it's a lot to tell. Believe it or not, this is my first lot to tell. <laughs> he cracking and backing. <laughs> Y'all, I don't know how to eat this. I also don't know how to eat uh, crawfish, but just one step at a time. One, the seasoning had looked like boo boo. It's really turning me off. <laughs> <laughs> like, look. It, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, I know it's the seasoning, but they overdid it. I feel like they only seasoned this and put it in here, and then they poisoned everything else. Come on, poison. I guess that's how you eat it. I'm not, I'm bougie, but I'm fake bougie. That's how I define myself. Cause, uh, I want some fake bougie. I'm fake bougie. I like stuff a certain way. And I guess it's more than the normal person. So people call me bougie. So since people call me bougie, I'm gonna consider myself the fake version of bougie. Okay. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Okay, so you're moving to Las Vegas. Vegas me, baby. After you settle down, so how many kids you gonna have? Let's get to the juicy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> She's talking about kids. Oh. Like actual kids? And yeah, I need a few god kids. You know, I ain't talking nothing out of here, so it's a little too the small. Thing, the things that run around kids? Miss me. She's talking about kids, kids. Um, I'll foster a few, you know, fostering. I can't say too much because they might Google me and find this and, but I'll foster. <laughs> Let me stop. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm lying. Damn, I already put myself under the bus. I can't foster nobody. Why couldn't you foster them? Because a YouTube video ain't like you doing nothing. I thought that worked. That sucking stuff did not work. I ain't getting nan piece of meat out of that. It don't <laughs> I gotta cut on my finger, it burn. Okay. Um foster none. I mean I foster half none. I do not plan on popping out nothing. That's where all my nieces and nephews from. My lovely sisters will be popping those out. I feel that. Let's go over TT house. <laughs> That's Sugar them up, send them back to their mom. <laughs> Period. Y'all want pop toys, ice cream, cookies? Let's have some pop. We... Um. Once I settle down in Vegas, I don't know what's next for me. I know I'm gonna continue on my investment plan, but I don't. I don't know, like. As far as social and as far as having an actual life outside trying to get rich and break and break the generational curse. Amen. I don't know what's next for me as far as socially. Hopefully my YouTube continues to blossom and blow up. Blossom, yeah. That's all when it works. If I ain't get no views now, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna get some later. Do you want to stay in Vegas? Probably like, not. Okay. Excuse me. I don't, I don't know. I want to visit all 50 states. I figured it out. Oh, yeah, let me tell you a little secret. What I really wanted to do after I graduated was become a flight attendant. You might as well. But they got a height requirement, and I did not know that, and I don't need it, so. Even with heels? Girl, I'm short. <laughs> Yeah, no, I don't need it. <laughs> I'm going to have to have some strippers, shoes on. For real? 
Yeah. Why you gotta be a certain height? I, to put the bag up there if they want to. And imagine my little ass trying to put a. No. <laughs> it's going to be, I'm gonna be like, excuse me, can you know, just put your own bag up there? <laughs> <laughs> I really wanted to be a flight too because I'm like, because what happened was mom, um, mom's friend, daughter, she graduated and she was a flight attendant for like a year or two after she graduated and she was like judging you would love it like i think you would really love it because you basically have to travel while you're working so like everywhere you land you kind of have time to explore that place and she was like she didn't been all over like she know i would like it but a bit more research and what's your dream like what's your dream a dream guy <laughs> as um, far as looks don't explain that personality because they your stalker might be watching and be like i'm him i'm real man he sure think he do but <laughs> he sure think he is but he ain't but anyway um looks looks what you want your baby daddy to look like girl you know i don't know they told you I, I like variety so the color i ain't gonna you know, hate on that. If he Filipino though, he could really <laughs> come get the. You know what I'm saying? I'm waiting. But yeah, oh, I, I just come out with some muscles, a little tattoos. If you got a sleeve, you know, I like that. None of the niggas I don't mess with is nothing like <laughs> like what I'm describing at all. <laughs> I'm dead. Um, you know, I oh, I love a beard. That's what I should start off with. I love a beard. But to be honest, I don't know. Yeah. But dang, if I had a Filipino baby daddy, we would have some wild kids. Because my hair, they hair, they keep me so. Oh, she want her Filipino. You know, I got to stick with my okay. black man. Yeah. Black Actually, man. you know, sometimes I don't know. Because y'all should look this man up. Adonis Boso. I don't know if that's him, but he's a really cute guy. Is he white, black? He black. black. He black. Okay. He from the motherland. He, he it. He it. But you know, I gotta stick with my black people. So I just like a strong black man. Like, also strong. <laughs> strong, but strong. Like, you gotta emphasize. You Strong and strong, <laughs> okay? Oh, yeah. Because like, we got to be on the same page mentally. If we're not on the same page mentally, it's just like me talking to a cereal box. Hey, how are you doing? Oh, boy! No, I'm not gonna <laughs> fake it. I'm a boy. Get the get out my face. Like I'm gonna be so rude. And you're be like, oh my god, she's a B I C C H. Oh my god, you're dumb. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to explain it other than we have to be on the same page mentally. And it's like some people that you are on the same page mentally as far as men, you don't click with. Like y'all yeah. can clash. Like he think he know everything. She thinks she know everything. Like not only just mentally, but like good vibes only. That's all I'm going to say. Good vibes only. <laughs> because some of y'all need help. Oh, that's cute. I'm cute. Do the cute dance. Do the cute dance. Do the cute dance. My mouth is still burning from this. It's, yeah, it's hot. No queer. Well, you found out what our dream man is. You found out what we're doing, how we in school, how we not in school, what we're doing outside of school. A couple of tips if you are in school and you're thinking about kicking, kicking rocks, it's understandable. Just make sure you got a plan because at the end of the day, you need to set yourself up for success and your family up for success and then your grandchildren and your great great grandchildren if you have kids if not your nieces and nephews up for success it's been great it's been straight my name is tiara and my name d and i'll see y'all next time on my youtube channel make sure you like comment subscribe and i love you all